well. I'm down here at Impex Lebanon, the official dealer for Chevrolet, to check out the brand new Chevrolet Tahoe. We have two trims, this one that's more basic, and we have the Z71, which is the more off-road and rugged of the two. It is a bit more menacing in the front. Check out these DRLs, this huge front grille. We also have more ground clearance and an aluminum skid plate at the bottom, which is pretty cool. Really good for off-roading. 20-inch alloy rims. We also have ample room over here with the brakes. Maybe you guys can set up some smaller, uh, smaller rims with bigger tires. Yeah, would be really nice. So quickly going over the outside of the car. We have everything in black chrome. And notice the headlights, these are continuous. So they don't stop here or anything. Just one whole piece that wraps around the bumper. Very cool. We have red tow hooks on the Z71. Huge, huge, huge grill. As I mentioned before, the 20 inch rims and sidestep, which is standard and fixed on the car. All the badging is in black, except the Z Z71 here up top, which I don't really mind the placement of it. It is a bit weird, but it's pretty cool. Much bigger mirrors than the previous generation, which is a plus. One major change of the brand new Tahoe is a completely brand new suspension. We have a multi-link independent rear suspension, which frees up space in the third row, as well as makes the ride a lot smoother on the road, of course. Here in the back, we have nice looking tail lights, also a lot of black chrome with the black Chevrolet badge, and we have a lit up badge here at the bottom, which tells you where to click to open the trunk. A very nice touch. Let's close it up, of course, just kick again at the bottom. Very nice. We don't have a Z71 badge in the back, which is a bit unfortunate if you're paying this much for a car. You want to show it off, I mean, right? So let's just move on to the interior of the car. So as you guys would expect with a car this big, it's pretty easy to get into. Let me just close the door. We have a very nice looking cockpit. The keys right here. Very nice 10.2 inch screen. Let's see if I can turn it on. Yeah, very nice. We also have a digital inf instruments cluster right here. I guess the lower trim has the regular analog dials. This one has just two analog. One thing that has changed inside the interior of the Tahoe is the gear selector. So you can have the pull for the reverse and drive and push for your PNN, I guess for safety. We have a 10.2 inch screen with this weird leather here, I guess to, you know, smoothly go through your menu, which is very responsive. You have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and yeah, we have a little mini storage space right here. I'm not sure we can put, like a phone wouldn't really fit down there. Uh, dual climate control with your uh, menu buttons and everything. A lot of uh, USB-C and uh, regular USB uh, charging ports everywhere in the car. Uh, wireless charging here at the bottom without a cover for it, which is weird. Two cup holders and a massive fridge with two settings so you can have uh, two different temperatures. Uh, more USB Type-C and a regular USB with, I guess, an SD card slot. Very nice and large armrest. More cup holders in the back. A very nice panoramic sunroof, which we did not get on the previous generation. And uh, yeah, here in the on the side, we have your off-road controls, your two high, four high, four low, as well as your parking brake. And I remember there's a detect off, so if the car, I mean, <laughs> rolls over, it does not engage the airbags, uh, which is uh, another safety feature of the car. Some more towing uh, capabilities over here as well. And I'm not sure what this is, I guess to put your cards or something. But yeah, very well equipped and very nice looking interior. I'm gonna move on to the back really quick because this is getting a very into a long story, but uh, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying it. So the second row is very spacious. These seats move front and back, as well as toggle this to lift them all up. They're a bit heavy, but yeah. And because of the multi-link independent suspension, the third row is very spacious. Look at all this leg room you get here. So yeah, basically you, your knees aren't in your face if you're riding in the third row. Some more uh, cup holders and USB Type-C charging outlets. Yeah, this is really heavy. Okay. More charging ports right here with your dual climate control. Actually not, this is one single climate control, not dual. And quickly moving on to the trunk of the car. 
you also get a lot of storage space even with the third row open which you can actually push it down with these all the way down yeah left and right it's very convenient you can even do the second row very cool as for the engine, we have a 5.3 V8 producing 355 horsepower with 520 Newton meters of torque. It's also paired with a 10 speed automatic transmission pulling this 2.66 ton beast. So for the price of the Tahoe, we have 85K as a starting price for the base model, which is right there. But the Z71 is at 105. And for the payment methods, I'm just gonna put them down on the screen. So go through them. And yeah, anyways, uh, I'm going to thank Chevrolet for the invite. Check out the brand new Tahoe. What do you guys think of the car? Let me know.